My name is Gili Dorway. I'm a sociologist from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, which is in Israel. I'm, uh, I study globalization, and uh, through globalization I study the fields of education, of uh, science and of innovation, and lately also of management and organization. I'm a member of the team of Chapter 18, the, the chapter that is devoted to the study of education and the role of education in social progress. The International Panel on Social Progress is a very ambitious project, and we can see that by the number of uh, chapters that are intended for the forthcoming um, uh, report. Um, I hope that our group in uh, devoting our discussions to education can not only reflect on the many decades of international policy to achieve uh, global development and international progress, but also pro think of ideas for the future of social progress and find innovative ways with which education can play a central role in achieving progress. Education for quite a while has been seen as a cornerstone for social progress. We assumed that through educating people we create a, a stronger labor force, a, a stronger basis for a knowledge economy these days and also uh, educate people to be active participants in the political arena. Um, in spite of these aspirations, we have not achieved uh, the kind of international development and social progress agenda that we had hoped for. Um, discussions of education are still intertwined with the idea of social progress and uh, involve uh, issues such as policy making, implementation of policy, assessment of, of education and the goals that were set for, for, uh, for it in delivering progress. Specifically, my interest in um, regards to the role that education plays in social progress are about the um, uh, governance of education. So governance could mean many things, for example, it could refer to the financing or the funding of, of education, it could involve the governance of uh, assessment or the assessment of uh, uh, policy making to date. Um, I would like to highlight the, the role of multi-stake governance. The fact that for a long time we thought of education as the provenance of governments and increasingly we see private sector involvement, uh, which demands a public-private partnership. Now the label for public-private partnership we have for a while, but what we mean by private had changed. Uh, not only had the private sector been having a growing importance in deliverance of, of education, but it also bifurcated. By private we mean not only the for-profit sector, we see more and more corporations coming into education, delivering uh, education, private education, in private schools, but in also in um, creating curricular items for what we call public schools. Um, but also another uh, venue for so-called private education, and that is the involvement of civil society or NGOs that are coming strong into the education sector, building uh, uh, curricula, building programs and delivering full packages of education to schools. I think the current challenge for education and for education systems that think of their role in relation to social progress is the, that the governance of education is no longer solely in the hands of governments, but rather that uh, additional stakeholders are involved in the deliverance of education in prescription of uh, uh, content, in setting the agenda for education, in sponsoring of education, etc. So um, we need to rethink the governance of education. I think this is the greatest challenge on how governments will be able to balance uh, the uh, contribution to education that is given by for-profit corporations as well as by civil society or NGO organizations. The governance of education is uh, indeed a global issue. We need to find a balance in each country and each county and each city need to find a balance between the global or international agenda for education and the particularities of the locale to which this education agenda uh, is prescribed. For example, in terms of the content of education, uh, we do have what we think of as the global or international 
curricular core, um, the skills of the 21st century that involve literacy, um, um, basic science and math, etc. But we know that these, uh, it is important to supplement these with the humanistic and uh, civic sort of education that is relevant to the particular locales, uh, the language skills of the locale, the uh, political involvement that suits the community and the political system. Um, so the challenge for education these days is to find this balance in each location between the global and the local and to create um, um, comprehensive global sort of education. It's been several decades that the international community is concerned with social progress and social progress of communities around the world. And it's been several decades that there has been international uh, policy making, several efforts in order to uh, achieve social progress. Um, our inability to achieve the aspirations, and as of late we are disappointed with the achievements of the Millennium Development Goals, um, may discourage some people. However, initiatives like the International Panel for Social Progress, I hope, gives hope to many others. Um, it is an initiative of people who are contributing of their own time. It is sponsored by different associations and by our own contribution of time and other resources um, to look for a new agenda to think, as I say, out of the box and this should give us hope that we may find the answers. <laughs>